Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, I know. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, wrestler Bray Wyatt? No. R- rest in peace, Terry Funk, though. By yeah. The way, by the way. By yeah. the way. Well, also rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Oh, Bray Wyatt died as well. What did Bray Wyatt do? He was uh Who was he, he? Was, he was only thirty six years old. Oh wow. Yeah, he died. He was one of the new guy or new I shouldn't say. He's new a new guy. word, dude. New word he was guy. uh he was very into like I don't know. He the last character he did was like he was just like this like fiend in a mask. He looked like a monster and like <laughs> oh. carried around a lantern and stuff. All right, like, fair enough, fair enough. But uh but no, anyways, I mean, I guess uh, he, they said that he uh, had caught COVID and had really serious complications and like was coming back. He like had got all, got all healed up, was coming back and then like, just like died of a heart attack out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah. Like, so 36 years old, man. That's insane, man. Yeah, dude. You never know, know, man. And he was in good shape too. I mean, he's a wrestler, so he had to be at least decent shape. He wasn't yeah. like the thinnest man, but like he wasn't like, I mean. You got some. You got some. Uh, he moved. If you wrestler, yeah, he moved around. He definitely kept himself moving. <laughs> he moved. Well, I mean, like, well, hold on. I play a lot of volleyball. Would you say that makes me healthy? Wow. Are you asking me if I would determine you as healthy or not? No, I mean, just based on that, I move. You said you, he moves around. Like, I mean, I move around. Does that mean I'm healthy? I would say is that you're leading a healthier lifestyle than a person who did not move around. Yes. That okay. is what I'm saying. Okay, I, would, I got it. I wouldn't say that you're the pinnacle of health, no. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say that most people even meet that criteria. No, but no, well, yeah, I don't think I am either. I was just curious. Like, well, I, I do a lot of stuff. Like, so just moving around makes you healthy? I like, would say is that moving around is a healthier lifestyle, yes, 100%. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What's an what, what, so what is, so he he died of uh he died from COVID. What did Terry Funk die of? Did you hear about him? I think he, he was, was like old. He, yeah, was, he, was yeah, old. he was old. What did Terry Funk do? Who was he? He was a wrestler. I remember I remember the name, but what, who was Terry Funk was like a hardcore guy. He'd been around forever. He did like a bunch of crazy hardcore matches. Like I know he did wire. some stuff with Mick Foley, right? Yeah, it was always like it was always like barbed wire matches. And I just like, can't I can't I can't picture him. He looks like a old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that t- Terry Fong. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I got no, man. It. They, um, yeah, he he was a hardcore wrestler. Okay, that's unfortunate, man. Everybody's really? out here dying. He was old though. He was like seventy nine or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it's, like, it's crazy to die of thirty six, man. But you never know. Yeah, dude. Like I don't know what's happening out here in the in the world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> People die every day, man. It happens. It could be me. It could be you. We all rolling to die. Yeah, yeah, dude. Hoping not to hit that seven. Whoo! If you on the don't come, <laughs> then it's that's where you need it to be. It's like you get the six, you out. You get the seven, you win. Big facts. Big yeah. facts. You ready? Am I ready to what die? <laughs> Are you ready to die? Am I ready to die? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's get out here. Let's. Well, go. I don't. What, wait, what the fuck? Are you, what are we doing? What's this turning into? <laughs> let's get out here. What does that mean? You ready to die? Let's get out here. No, wait a minute. Wait, you asked me a question. Now you're issuing a call arms. I'm good, fam. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to die, but I'm you not trying to, to do. Let's go. No, what do you mean? Let's go. <laughs> let's no, go. We, we, we're going out, and living. Not our going best. anywhere with you at this point? Living our best life. I mean, sure. Do you, do you, is there things that you don't do because you think you, you will die because of it? You know that already. You know, I don't like to do dangerous stuff, life threatening stuff. I haven't, didn't ride up, I didn't ride a plane until I was damn near 30. You're going to ride a plane soon. I am going to ride a plane soon. We're going to Vegas. I don't like, uh, I don't like riding in a plane. Uh, I don't either. The seats are too small. We should have went first class. We should have just gone ahead. Yeah, how much was a first from Texas to Vegas? How much is first class gonna be? Probably like like a thousand dollars. That's like what's a thousand dollars? I mean, it's ten hundreds. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you can rebook your flight all you want. Could I? Could I book up? Would they let me book it up? Let me see. It would only cost like another what? How much is it now? Like Southwest I, doesn't have first class. Ah, uh, I don't even have the option. That's so that. true. Southwest does not have first class. What a they piece of crap. Uh, yeah. Oh. Let's see. Nonstop flights. 
from first class from all this is like the end of september american 640 alaskan 1130 united 921 delta a thousand bucks for first class yeah bro that's not that bad a thousand dollars for a four-hour flight you're paying 250 dollars that and that's without taxes and fees and that is that round trip or is that just there I think that's just there. Yeah, it's, that's a little pricey. But yeah, dude, it's that's four still, hours. I still say it's not bad, though. So I honestly thought it would be more. That's, uh, what, $500 well, hold an on hour? A second. So you an thought hour? it would be more to fly first cast from Vegas to Austin, and, but you thought a flight to Japan was going to be like 1000 bucks. Yeah. Like, I don't understand your reasoning on that. Like, I don't know. I don't, because uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with how they price it. I thought that first class was like two, two Gs. Easy. Well, it is for round trip. Oh yeah, 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 yeah fair enough. I yeah. guess so. How much was the trip to Japan? How much did we determine that? It was one? like it was like without even spending money. It was like it was like three k or something. <sighs> well, because it was like it was like the flight was like two thousand dollars, and then like, and then the, the staying in a cheap place would be like another. You're probably looking. I mean, you're probably going to spend five k minimum without any fun. <laughs> That's fun. just the, the five k is just a flight. <laughs> so, wait, no, a flight somewhere to stay for a week and food for the week. Without any fun, there's no fun involved after that. Before that, so it's a five k pre fun trip. Five k pre fun. That's not bad though. Five k just to get somewhere and You're stay there for a jump. week. It's Japan, dude. It's the other part of the freaking world, dude. You're 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 a thousand miles from home, thousands of miles from home. Yeah, I wonder how, how far we are from Japan. I Let's mean, we could. I'm sure you could take a boat and probably save yourself half. Oh, that's nice. You should. You and should also take, take you a Japan. month to get there. How many miles are we? This is my thing. Like, if you want to see like these far off, how much was your trip to uh, when you went to England? Or when you went to Britain? Uh, or actually, if, that was actually pretty cheap. We found I found a flight round trip flight for five hundred bucks. Oh wow! That's and then we and all. then we bought a round trip uh, train ticket to Scotland that was one hundred and seventy. That's really so good too. so and so we were there ten days. We spent half of it in England, half of it in Scotland, and like all the travel was like I think it, with with taxes and fees was like seven hundred seven fifty. Okay. For all of it, but normally it's a lot more than that. So you're looking at like maybe like a twenty five hundred, three thousand dollar trip. Yeah, because that trip with all that, and that was ten days, and we yeah. stayed in like we stayed in lower end hotels, um, nothing fancy. I think I think the I think the and I split it with my gr my gr then girlfriend at the time. So I mean, it was like I think just the the airfare and the tr and the hotel and stuff was like about a, about a grand a piece for us. Okay. So then, like, so then throughout, then you know, so then you were there ten days. So I mean, you spent at least probably another fuck, you know, thousand dollars on a couple excursions, yeah, food. Absolutely. You know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. Like we didn't do a lot. We, I mean, they didn't like that fun. So I feel like when you go to another place, you need to set aside at least like fifteen hundred two k, just just to like spend. Food. Oh, any trip somewhere if you're if you're going and staying there and you got to fly there, stay there and eat there, you're looking at like 2k just almost. You know, I mean like cuz even we're going to Vegas and like yeah, the flight wasn't all that expensive, the hotel wasn't that expensive, but like I mean just thinking about how much inflation is nowadays and you got to eat for 5 days and you got to eat at least like probably twice a day while you're there if nothing else, plus I mean and then drink if you want to drink or anything, like it's like that's a lot. Oh my god! And you don't know how much they charge for alcohol in other countries, man. Oh man, well, it's just about Vegas. I forgot. I meant to tell you this when we were talking about Vegas. When you go to the strip club, I figure you don't want to go to the strip club while we're there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bunny Ranch? No, not the not the hooker bar. The, the hooker bar. Uh, <laughs> the last time I went to the strip club in Vegas, the yeah. the beers were twenty dollars a piece. Holy shit, man! Are you serious? And I walked up and I was like, two beers, and she cracked them and set them down. She was like, forty dollars. And I was like, so I didn't even get a chance to tell her I didn't want them. She just opened them and put them out for yeah, me. Yeah, that's how they get you. Yeah, and I and they were Bud Light. Ew, forty dollar buds. What's the what's the markup on that? Oh, all. <laughs> it's like a it's like a two hundred percent markup. Oh yeah, and it was like a two drink minimum place. Oh, so you pay fifty uh, bucks to get in. You got to spend forty bucks on beer. So you're you're spending a hundred bucks They're before you even spend another dime in that beer. People, man. Oh yeah, absolutely. In the one place we went into, we went in and we were the only two people in the whole club, and the girls were just like sitting around. We went to leave, and he was like, "Come on, man, come on, stay." And I'm like, 
why don't you give us our money back? There ain't nobody here. We paid 20 bucks to go in there. The girls are like just hanging out, reading books. Mm. Like reading what? Books. They weren't reading books. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, it was like, it was, it was, I don't know. It was weird. I mean, this was also many years ago. So, um, but anyways, you got anything else? No, man. I'm excited. Me too. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Go to thecrazetown.com. TNT. For Jonas. Yep. <laughs> you said that way. <laughs> <laughs> 